Our line panelists are ready to discuss some of the top stories in the news this week, including the high number of people who have already turned out to vote early in this election year. Before we get into that, we want to ask you our off-the-cuff question for all of you this week. Many people may not know this, but it's actually illegal in New Mexico to take a picture of your ballot. But lots of folks are taking ballot selfies and sharing them on social media. Are you going to take Eric Riego? Are you going to take a selfie? Because let me, let me say this. Let me add a little bit to this. I find it very touching that a lot of women have been taking selfies of this ballot because it's a prideful moment mm -hmm. and they want to capture the moment. And I could not blame anybody, but it is somewhat illegal. Not that anyone's going to jail, but you know what I mean? Are, would you would you be okay doing this? Are you okay taking? Well, I already voted and I yeah. didn't do it. Okay. But I remember um, in the Obama election that it was a big deal. That's I thought right. about doing it. It was so historic mm -hmm. and it was just amazing. And and so I can I could see doing it. Um, in terms of capturing a moment in history, yeah. uh, at the same time, I think the the other side uh, the, the argument is like <laughs> it's a way to prove that you essentially are doing what you were paid or encouraged or cajoled to do. So, right. you know, I'm not, I'm not sure I want everybody to know who I voted for in this particular. Election, right. Depends on the person, <laughs> certainly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> what do you think about this? I think I, I say again, how do you get mad at people who are very you know really proud of participating in something like this? People get excited. Well, I would say yeah. so. Your ballot is supposed to be secret, right. but I'm a little biased as a candidate. Do we know the rules? And the rules say you will not, thou shalt not take a picture of the ballot and certainly don't post it on <laughs> social media. Right, right. <laughs> and, and so uh, I'm already programmed to not do that. I understand it, but does it compromise the secrecy of your ballot? And uh -huh. it does. There you go. And that's the bottom line of these things. We, we need integrity for these things. What do you make of this? I mean, it's understandable that people do this, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. I've been tempted. Uh, the, the Obama thing, I was very tempted to take a, sure. a, a selfie of that. I well, that you know, I, I think there, it's time to revisit the law. Because, yeah. you know, if you want to engage a younger generation, you can't create roadblocks uh, behind it. And the, the reasons that it was put into place to begin with is very different than the society we're in today. Gotcha. Now, I think there need to be limits. You know, like right. nobody's allowed to bring selfie sticks into <laughs> the ballot box. I mean, that could get kind of other awkward. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Other people's stuff, no. But, right. uh, and maybe there's a, you know, a selfie period, like, you know, before you actually start, you know, circling everything in. But, right. Right. you know, I'm, I, I don't think it's a big deal. Do you, has anyone heard, I haven't heard of anything like this happening, but has anyone heard of a poll watcher walking up to somebody and tapping them on the shoulder and saying, so you I can't have. do that? Actually, oh, you have? So I have, ah, um, okay. I have uh, a friend who um, works the polls, and okay. I probably have several actually, and what she's told me is that, is that what they say is, it's great to actually take a selfie, because when you're photographing your ballot, that's not, strictly speaking, a, a selfie. So if, if, for instance, you are voting in your first election and you want to take a picture of yourself that does not include the ballot to me memorialize the, the moment that way, mm -hmm. that's wonderful. I mean, you want to be careful that you're not taking photos of people at the rest of the polling place, although the law right. doesn't really cover that. Um, so what she has said is that they recommend to people, take a picture of yourself, let your mom take a picture of you, um, but keep the ballot out of it. I will say um, there is no enforcement of this right. of this rule here. There's no enforcement of it, as far as I know, anywhere in the country. Right. And um, one of the things to Tom's point about maybe we need to revisit this, it seems to me is um, it's not the fact of taking the picture yeah. that is the problem. It's, it's if you were using that photo to substantiate um, you know, vote selling, basically to say, I sold my vote and here you can see my vote. Gotcha. That strikes me as really at the heart of the issue. And mm -hmm. so if there's another way that we can allow people a little bit more freedom um, in their own little private cubicle as right. they vote, right. I think that's wonderful and still maintain um, that prohibition against, obviously, against selling your vote. Right, right. that's a good the point. Close, the close, Which like, nobody I, does. But right, that's a good point. Like Thank you for filling that in. There's zero evidence of that. A couple, <laughs> couple years back in the last, like, I got in trouble for getting a picture with, I saw El, El Hurricane oh, voting mm -hmm. at the same time, and I thought it'd be a great oh, photo of us yeah. canceling yeah. each other's votes out. So it was. <laughs> you got in a little trouble for that. <laughs> yeah. what, from the El Hurricane supporters or from no, your supporters? Well, from the <laughs> like, you're not supposed to take pictures in here, right? Yeah. You know, you know, we're all supposed to be anonymous in there. Good stuff. Interesting. Another a little wrinkle to this interesting election season, isn't it? Yeah. Fun. See you next week.